vote. So if you haven't voted, you gotta go vote for Henry Clinton tomorrow. It is very, very important. Number one, remember, you go vote only after 7 p.m. After 7, at 7, at 7.15, you gotta go to the caucus because out of the 228 delegates, 67 of them will be decided by the caucus. So go at 7. that President Clinton provided for our college students. <laughs> Think about the deficit that he brought down and the biggest surplus that we've had in our history, President Clinton. <laughs> but I want you to think about one thing. Think about who opened up the doors for our communities. Secretary Henry Cisneros being part of the cabinet, he was the one that opened up the doors. Yeah. Opportunity, community, those are the keystones of President Clinton. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go ahead, help me again, welcome President Henry Cuellar. He's been a great friend to Hillary. He's worked hard for her. He works hard for you every day. Let's give him another hand. And I cannot thank Richard Raymond enough. He has really, really done a great job for Hillary, too. Helping us to get our legislators, helping me organize. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, County Judge Danny Valdez. Commissioner Jerry Garza. County Clerk Martin Ibarra. The Democratic Chairman Javier Montemayor. Thank you. Anyway, I got to say one other thing here. Tonight, Hillary is ending her campaign in Texas in an unusual way. At 6:30 on the Fox Network Southwest, she's going to have and we check we're not blocking any basketball games. She is going to have a televised town hall meeting connecting all around Texas so that she can end the campaign by making herself available to people and communities all across Texas to answer questions. Ending a campaign on a positive note, ending a campaign on the issues, looking toward the future, talking about the things that affect your lives, not the politics that so often dominates the campaign. So I hope you will watch her tonight. Second thing I want to say, if you heard the congressman say this, I want to emphasize this again. Many things about Texas are unique, but this election system of yours takes the cake. I mean, first we work hard to make everybody vote early, who will vote early. How many people voted early? So the idea is if you vote early, then on election day you can take other people to vote and help Hillary, right? And by 7 o'clock, you're exhausted, yeah. and we win. Yeah. But only 65% of the delegates to the National Convention will be selected based on the vote tomorrow and the early vote. Then, at 7.15, you have all these precinct conferences uh, called conventions here. 8,000 of them. And if you don't go vote twice, then the other campaign could come in and take away at night what we win in the daytime. So you won't let that happen, will you? So you'll vote twice, 
won't you? What kind did we have? I mean, think of it this way. Tomorrow night, Texas will be the only place in America where you can vote twice in the same election without breaking the law and going to jail. How cool is that? We'll have food and music and it'll be a celebration. But, and now, I have to ask you, the people who are here with our campaign, raise your hand. The people that are working tomorrow night. Okay, look at these people. If you have not signed up to caucus, go to one of these people and give them your name. And if you need help with the ride, help get in there, any kind of support, we'll get you there. We've got to get as close to as many votes in the caucus as we get in the election as possible. It would be a terrible mistake to do all this work. Hillary has worked so hard. She has brought this campaign back. I think she's going to win in both Texas. In order to do it, we got to win twice here. Yeah. I think the future of your country is worth two votes, don't you? Yeah. Now, let me say one other thing. There are still a few people who are undecided. There are still a few people who think they're going to vote for the other candidate and you could persuade to vote for Hillary. Yeah. And I just want to say, I think there are three reasons to vote for her. First of all, this country for the last seven years got off track badly with our economy. Most Americans are broke. After, they think they're in a, in a recession already. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Why? Look at the difference. Henry said a little of this, but in the 1990s, we had 22.9 million jobs in America. New one. In this decade, just 5 million. In the 1990s, almost 8 million Americans lived the American dream. They moved themselves from poverty up into the middle class. In this decade, 5 million falling from the middle class back into poverty. In the 1990s, Latino income rose almost $7,000 after inflation. In this decade, after inflation, dropping over $1,000. In the 1990s, we gained manufacturing jobs in 68 years. In this decade, we lost it every single year. This is not rocket science. The cost of health care has doubled. The cost of a college education is up 75%. In one town in Northern California two days ago, gasoline was over $4 a gallon. Energy has driven the cost of food up so much that it is going up at twice the rate of inflation. And everywhere I go, people say, oh, now I have to be careful when I go to the grocery store, especially if I have to buy medicine. We have to get out of this and go back so we can go forward. Hillary says America should be a country of shared prosperity based on shared opportunity and shared responsibility. And if you vote for her, that's the America she'll give you. If you look all around the world today, the wealthier countries that are creating jobs, building the middle class, allowing poor people to work their way into it, and there aren't very many of them, but the ones that are succeeding have all adopted one strategy. They have decided that they are going to build an energy 